Welcome back to Bright Raving Gaming. Hi, as always, I'm your host, Bastion, and today we're back in Remnant from the Ashes. And, uh, I found my Tommy gun. Which means I had to make somebody, uh, that went along with it. So I, uh, got my hunting gear, uh, kind of like a trench coat looking, uh, sort of fedora looking hat. And, uh, for the most part, most of my stuff here can be found on Earth. And you start out with this. So the Tommy gun is definitely the key. Hot shot just deals more damage, and it just allows the Tommy gun to, uh, or the Chicago typewriter, to shine. The only reason I have the Spitfire is I have a backup flamethrower, which is very helpful in certain circumstances. Uh, I got the Stone of Balance. I'm not... Eh, it's okay. I'm glad to have a little extra damage, so I won't complain too much. The Ring of Shadows is one of the things that really, really helps tie this together. And then the only thing that's not found on Earth is the Brutal Mark, and that just helps me finish out somebody after they're down a little ways. So, let's go test out my, uh, my gangster-looking guy here. And see how we do. And it's mainly a nice showing of how absolutely wonderful this weapon is. And I'm going to be doing extra weak spot damage. Thanks to my two pieces of armor. And thanks to my one piece of uh, occult, I can already use my uh, my fire shot. All right, here we go. Oh, there he is. Now, if you notice. They're not noticing me. The only reason he noticed me was because he was that close. Now, let's start. Oh. There it is. That was one flip and I was able to take him down. Come back, you bastard! If I had not misjudged the distance from where he was, or if I would have used hot shot, I would have knocked him down a lot faster. All right. Here we go. We're going to sneak up on this guy. And then we're going to flame him. Nope, you don't see me. Look at that. Look how close I'm getting. Never even knew I was there. Same way with this guy. Never knew I was there. And coming up behind somebody with a this gun. And you can hit him with range easy enough. But if you're a little bit nervous about range, just get up and personal. Get up close and personal. It did take me a while to actually find this gun. Uh, I was just doing adventure mode trying to uh, get stuff like simulacrums and different things like that. And I got lucky enough to come across it. But you have to save two NPCs called Liz while fighting, you know, when you're fighting off a horde. So it's not the easiest thing in the world. But it is definitely worth it. Oh, that's cheap. All right. I was hoping to go around. It's okay, though. Down. 
There we go. Whew, it's over. Say hello to my little friend. It's uh, no problem. Bring it, I come on a supply run and all of a sudden these, uh, these guys is all around. They didn't pay the rent for this month. Uh, they should have paid protection. You know what I'm saying? And now I gotta rough them up. And I do not have a melee weapon with this because... He's got his uh, knuckles wrapped so he might as well uh, just punch him in the face. Oh, hello. Dang it. There we go. Hey. It's old Mud Tooth. Mud Tooth is pretty cool. Uh, he has some uh, really awesome tonics that you can buy. They last an hour. Pretty nice. I'm hoping to uh, be able to get a. All right, hoping to be able to get a boss fight so I can demonstrate this a little bit more. Oh wow! Hey, fellas! Next time, pay up. Won't have to shoot you. Now, an optimal build for this gun would be almost like Leto's armor. Because then you would not be able to get staggered. But then it completely takes away from the aesthetic, so no thank you. Yeah, you heard nothing, fellas. You heard nothing. But when it comes to damage over time, this thing is similar to, uh, very similar to, uh, the beam rifle almost. Not by the fact that it just keeps a beam on it, but by the fact of it, uh, Where is he? He's way back there. But by the fact of it just putting a lot of concentrated firepower in one location. A ridiculous amount of firepower. The longer you hold fire, the more, well, the better aim you get. And speaking of Leto, 
Here's Lido's lab. Well, all right. We'll go up against, uh, Go up against the splitters. And they have a hair, uh, a haired, a shared health pool. Thus, fire should be very, very effective against them. I will find out. I definitely like that idea. Uh, the few bosses I've gone up against with this particular build. I mean, it, they've just melted, so... And if uh, anybody has not uh, seen how to get through Leto's lab before, I guess you're in for a treat. Big thing is, if you're going to be in a place for a while and you have any way to regen your uh, your mod power, make sure you take your flamethrower off pretty quickly. That way, it can start regenerating again. Got a little floppy. Ah, now where is that key card? Oh yeah. In here. Alright, so once you get the key card in there, you will The key card is what's going to open this, but there's no power yet, so you have to put power to the facility. So you need to go downstairs to the green glowing <coughs> computer, hit any key, and then run system tests, and then reactor controls, disable the bypass. There you go. Now, you're going to start having mobs spawn. Then you want to go back to this room, to the other green, and then take care of the lockdown. I did that nice and fast, but hey, Lido sends his regards, huh? But even though nice and fast, still some of them do spawn, so. But if you don't kill off the ones that I flamethrowed at the very beginning, uh, they'll spawn up too, and then you can have get a little bit overrun. So it's not too bad, though. Go down to B1 Research. you go downstairs all right that poor 
elite did not stand a chance. And I do want to, I mean, this is only a plus 11 on this gun. It's not super high powered yet. It's data! But can you imagine if it was fully upgraded already? It'd be fairly impressive. Now then, over here, you come to this computer which is right in front of the uh, little chamber thing. Hit the key to continue. Chamber controls, initialize. All right, and you want to enable Leto's algorithm. Now what that's gonna do is put you in a very specific location. Enabling it puts you right over here. And then you can use the key card to open up these doors. Now to get Leto's armor and to get those uh, luminescent stones that were up there, come back to the computer and you disable it. And then you jump in here And it's going to take you to a random location. Oh, I got lucky. Brought me straight up to Luminite Crystals. Uh, the other places that it can spawn you are... Uh, it can spawn you over there, right on the other side of the machine. Can spawn you right here in front, or it can spawn you right outside, and the last place is down in uh, for Lido's armor. And I'm not going to spend that much time and make you poor, poor people have to suffer through it to watch me get it, since I won't be using it. I actually love the armor. <clears throat> in previous playthroughs, I have had a <clears throat> straight up Lido armor person and played through without too much issue. Hey, I guess they shouldn't have been hanging around, huh? My 1920s accent's awful, I know, I know. But man, you just feel like doing it when you got this thing in your hands. And see, because of my uh, awareness and how I can be right under them before they even know I'm here. biggest hope I have is that I find plenty of ammo. Because I do not want to resort to the uh, Spitfire unless I absolutely have to.
Hey, fellas! You did not just shoot me. Fish in a barrel. And down he goes. Whew, it's over. Unfortunately. Oh, never mind. Ammo! I was about to say, unfortunately, I ran out of ammo, but. Found some! Now, I definitely have a couple of other builds in mind. Hey, you. Hey, yeah, you. Yeah, you! Punk! <laughs> What are you gonna do? Uh, but I definitely have some other builds in mind. I'm gonna do like an electric one at some point. Because that one definitely seemed easier to build than this one. Just because the the Chicago typewriter is so I, I I only found that a the event a couple of times while I've been playing this game. It seems fairly rare. Um Now for the build that I would want to do for my Electro Mage scientist, I'd want to use the uh Ricochet rifle. But I've never found that in game. So, you know. We might just have to do without the ricochet rifle. We're running close on ammo now. Oh no. Oh, hello, hello. What do we got on traits here? We got five trade points. Uh, let's go ahead, get our quick hands up, get those uh, get those reloads really going. Hey there! Ow! 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 I ran out of ammo at a most inopportune moment. Alright. As you can see, I don't really have to fight these guys at all. I can just pretty much run through the entire thing. Stealth build. Oh yeah. It can be done. Now some of them are more aware than others, and those guys will pick you up, but... I was not expecting an elite right there. Oh well, let alone two of them. My fault. Right back where we were. Hey, hey, look at that. Hey, 
And I just ran through that entire dungeon. Never spawned a, a, a mob at all. Nothing. No elite, no nothing. Anybody else? Uh, if you did not have this particular setup for stealth, man, they would just, they'd be spawning all over on you. Eh. I'm okay with that. And the entire time I was running through, I was uh, getting my mods up thanks to my setup. The setup I have, I have the Spitfire, I have the Chicago typewriter, I have the cultist hat, uh, the hunter's trench coat, and the hunter's uh, pants. Most of this stuff can all be found on Earth. Sure, you have to kill the one of the world bosses for this. But for the most part, it's very early on. The only thing that was not found on Earth, I think, was the Brutal Mark. I can't remember if the Ring of Shadows was or not. It may have been on uh, Yasha. I can't remember. Both of these were on Yasha, I think. But, uh, for the most part, the, uh, uh, the armor and the weapons, those are all Earth-bound. So, let's go see how we do against this boss. All right, Splitter. Okay, I moved. Whoop. Ow! Where, where's the tracking on that? My goodness. Window, please. Thank you. There we go. There we go. C's right there. Load, load, load. There we go. And he's done. And it could have been done a lot smoother. Standing. I got all my parts. I call that a win. But again, it was all thanks to the the Thompson, just because of how much damage it can just dish out. I I don't know uh, right offhand. I can't remember, remember what the beam rifle uh, its ammo capacity is, but. Uh, Having the 80 ammo capacity, you can just dump bullets into an enemy, and it's, it's dark. Hard to see. very, very effective. So what do you think about my uh, build here, yeah? 
he is a stealth assassin, basically, and he uses, for his weapon of choice, a Chicago typewriter. But I made him and remade him a few times, few times, just looking at it aesthetically and uh, to try and figure out exactly what I wanted him to do. And this turned out to be the best I could make him aesthetically. Still not the... I'm not the happiest with it, but I think it's about as close as I'm going to get. Since this is not my, uh, I pre-ordered on the uh, Xbox, not on the computer, not on PC. If I would have, I would have been able to get the black trench coat, and I think that'd work a little bit better, but hey. I think it works, but that's about going to do it for this episode of uh, my uh, my build here. I don't exactly know what uh, I want to call the build. Maybe just uh, straight up gangster. I don't know, but uh, noir maybe. You can tell me in the comments below what you think. Uh, but uh, if you did enjoy this, consider leaving a like. Uh, comment down below. I know I died once, but I think it was able to show you very well the stealth capability afterward. And I'm I'm okay with that. It was not intentional. I did not die on purpose. But, you know, it worked. Uh, in the bottom middle of the screen, you will find a place where you can subscribe to me. It's a nice little emblem. Uh, subscribing to me does a few things. One, it allows you to know when I upload a new video, especially if you've hit the bell icon. Also, it allows the channel to grow. The more the channel can grow, the more these videos I can put out on a more regular basis, more people will get to see them. Those likes help out a lot with that. And it just helps my morale as much as anything. And I love this game very 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 much this is probably one of my favorite games and uh, I've been able to I, I love building these characters out it's pretty cool the mad scientist electromancer build I'll probably start on him fairly soon and I know fairly easily how to be able to get that it should not take that long I wouldn't think it took a lot longer for him just because his weapon has to be so specific for this look to actually pull off right. And the top left hand screen, you will find the place where you can uh, you can find the playlist for all my rest of my uh, Remnant from the Ashes videos. In the top right, you will see my previous episode. Until next time, I've been Bastion. This has been Bright Raven Gaming. I finally got my Tommy gun, and I definitely used it quite a bit. And I wish you all a fantastic day.